we've looked at checksum we've also looked at using horizontal and vertical parity scheme as a two dimensional parity checking mechanism but we agreed that both of these have their own limitations at the data link layer we are interested in deploying apparently a more complex but much desired robust error detection mechanism for that one of the most widely used mechanisms is cyclic redundancy check in this module we shall first understand the principle behind crc the modulo 2 division we'd look at how crc is operating and the application scenario the references that i've chosen are gallagher and dimitri and kiros and ross as we said earlier checksum becomes weak because the kind of illegal representations that it has are limited so a valid representation could get transformed very easily into another valid representation because of that we have to seek a more powerful error detection mechanism and that is what crc is all about crc takes d bits of data and starts a division process with something called a generator polynomial the generator is r plus 1 bits where r is going to be the remainder for example if we take g as the divisor and if we take d as the data bits which are to be divided then the remainder it has to be at least 1 bit less than g and that is what we are going to use a combination of the remainder the generator and the data bits to fully understand how crc works what is our goal in crc our goal is to take d data bits append them with r redundancy bits divide them with g on the sender side find a remainder that turns out to be zero send that remainder append it with the data on the receiving side we take that data along with the remainder we divide this with the generator that was used on the sender side as well and then find if the error happens or not if the receiver divides the data and the remainder appended together by g and the result is all zeros it means no error happened and there is no bit in error if the remainder is non zero it means an error has been detected crc of course does not tell exactly which bits are in error because if the bit locations of the erroneous bits is known then we are not looking at error detection we are looking at error correction crc is based on modulo 2 so let's quickly go through what modulo 2 arithmetic is in modulo 2 arithmetic addition and subtraction are identical which is equivalent to the exclusive or operation two examples have been shown in here for instance 1011 once exord with 0101 yields 3110 and the other example is self explanatory now let's try to understand the operation of crc we take d data bits we do a left shift operation by multiplying it with 2 to the power r let's say the value of r is 2 so 2 to the power 2 is 4 so we are going to do a 4 bit left shift operation then we are going to append it with r the capital r is the redundant bits this appending of redundant bits to the data bits should yield a multiple of the generator that is what is the underlying concept now let's manipulate this mathematical expression in a simple way since x or is a commutative process 
we can perform the same XOR operation on the left hand side by moving R onto the other side. And if we divide both these sides by G, we get the remainder, which is D to the uh, D into two to the power R divided by G. So what we are looking at is this capital R is a fully uh, is the remainder that gives a fully divisible d into 2 to the power r by g. We look at an example now. Let's take that we have six data bits. We have a generator polynomial that is 1, 0, 0, 1. It can also be represented as x to the power 3 plus 1 because the value of x to the power 2 and x to the power 1 is 0. So that is why we see 1, 0, 0, 1 or we can say x3 plus 1. And we'd have the remainder bits equal to 3 because it has to be less than 1 bit from the generator polynomial. When we do modulo 2 arithmetic based division, we'll do this steps repeatedly till we get the remainder of 0, double 1. And we also look at the data inside. The data is now 3 bit left shift operation and when we append the data bits with the remainder we get 10111011. The applications of CRC are immense and we see CRC deployed in Ethernet cards, the Wi Fi cards, and in ATM switches. CRC can detect all burst errors that are of the order of less than r plus 1 bits. That is, if r is equal to 3, as we saw in the previous example, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So it can detect up to 3 bits in error.